Hey there, do you want to make a gun in Roblox Studio that damages any player just like this? With sound and a muzzle flash? Then make sure to watch this video to the end. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a gun... Uh, I'm going to get a pistol model. I'm going to use something like... I'm going to use something like this. Now you can make your own or choose whatever you want. But I'm just going to choose this one because it's fairly simple. Now I'm going to add in a tool. I'm going to call it gun. I'm going to go to home. Select the handle and unanchor it. And I'm going to put it inside of the gun. Uh, now I'm going to edit the tool grip using the tool grip editor. I will link this in the description if you want to use it. But yeah, now we're going to edit the tool grip however we want to. Hold the gun as a player so yeah now i'm going to add in a sound so that it would play a sound when we shoot the gun so i'm going to do pistol something like that would work i'm just going to call it fire now we're going to add a muzzle flash so i'm going to go to models and search up muzzle flash I'm just going to choose a random one, something like this would work. So I'm actually going to delete the script over here and I'm just going to call this muzzle flash and put it inside of our gun. Now we're going to move it over here to our gun, wherever we want it to shoot. And I'm going to add in a weld constraint to our handle. And make sure it's called handle because that's the part we're going to hold. If it's not called handle, this will not work. Now I'm going to add, now I'm going to choose part zero as handle and part one as muzzle flash. So this is going to connect them together and not leave the muzzle flash lying down on the ground somewhere where we won't know. So now I'm just going to go ahead and disable the muzzle flash right here. And I'm going to delete this weld here because we won't need it. And I'll put the gun into the starter pack. Now we're going to start scripting. I'm going to add in the local script and I'm going to do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Local mouse is equal to player get mouse. And then script dot parent activated connect colon connect function. And then we're going to do a cooldown so that we will not be able to spam so that auto clickers won't be able to spam so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do local debounce is equal to false actually to make this a bit more clear for you i'm going to call it cooldown is equal to false and then i'm going to do if cooldown is equal equal to false then cooldown is equal to true wait 0.5 cooldown is equal to false first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do local target is equal to mouse dot target and then we're going to do if target dot parent find first child humanoid then and then we're going to fire the server before we fire the server we're going to make a muzzle flash and the sound effect works so we're going to do script dot parent dot fire play and also script.parent dot muzzle flash dot muzzle effect dot enabled is equal to true wait 0.1 seconds copy this code here set it to false so now we're going to fire the server so that we could actually damage the player what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in a plus i'm going to press plus i'm going to add in a script and i'm going to do uh, before I rewrite in the script, we're going to head over to replicated storage. We're going to head over to replicated storage, create a remote event, and I'm going to call this fire. Here we're going to do game.replicated storage.fire, fire server, and then target.parent. And then in the script, we're going to do game.replicated storage dot fire dot on server event colon connect function 
player and target. And so we're going to do target.humanoid.health minus equals 10. Um, to test this out, I'm going to click avatar, rig builder, block rig, put it over here. And now if we shoot our dummy, we can see that it damages the dummy. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also if you want to see more videos like these, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when a new video comes out. If you have any problems with the tutorial, make sure to message me on my Discord server, which will be linked in the description. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.